participants in our advanced training for public health nursing. So at this point, we would like um, to remind everyone to please um, mute your audio and um, open your camera during the um, completion ceremony. May you also um, appeal to everyone um, to make sure that your names reflect okay the name uh registered with the program and um again we are so happy that you are with us okay um and uh, you've reached this far so allow me now to introduce the people behind this course friends the course team starting off Facilitator. Julia Zen Melendres, our research assistant and course facilitator. The members of the course facilitator team, yours truly. Assistant Professor Erwin William Leiva. Assistant Professor Mary Abigail Hernandez. Assistant Professor Julian Ivan Soberan. Assistant Professor Ryan Torres for our technical support. Maria Patricia Mabale, our graphics Our teaching assistants, Christian Antiquera, Jose Andreline De La Cruz, Carla May Aguinaldo, Erickson Bernardo, April Joyce Caligagan, Rocky Kamaligan, Mary Ann Millicent Castro, Carmen Roseli Lopez, Harold Paulo Mejia, Jailene Pei Rojas, our resource persons, on strategic leadership, Dr. Cora Anonuevo, on systems thinking, Dr. Erlinda Palaganas, on organizational development, Dr. Annabel Borromeo. On Policy Development, Dr. Feli Marilyn Lorenzo. On Advocacy, Dr. Josefina Angeles Tuazo. On Professional Development, Dean Sheila Bonito. Doc so, Associate Professor Luz Barbara Dones. Dr. Carlo Irwin Panelo. Maria Celine Valenzuela for Module 2. For Module 3, we have Dr. Anthony Cordero. Assistant Professor Maria Angela Mabale. Dean Betty Mary. Assistant Professor Josephine Carriaso and Mamrita Tamse. Friends, let us honor our beloved nation and let us join in singing the Philippine National Anthem. Mga kababayan, ang pambansang awit ng Pilipinas. Thank you. 
Now, to officially welcome all of us to our completion ceremony this afternoon, may I call on the virtual floor, the project director, and the dean of the College of Nursing of the University of the Philippines, Manila, Professor Dr. Sheila Bonito. Thank you, Earl. And uh, magandang hapon po sa lahat. Uh, today, we are ending the training of the fifth batch of the Public Health Nurse Lead uh, Program. And uh, thank you for joining this leadership journey with us towards caring for individuals and populations in the public health setting. Congratulations to all of you, our nurse leaders, on completing the course. You have done well despite juggling many responsibilities in your home and work. And as we have discussed over the past few weeks during our Zoom sessions and also on our course site, there are many challenges that we face to implement the Universal Healthcare Act and to achieve our commitments to deliver the health outcomes and sustainable development goals. We hope that through this course, we have provided you with some insights into possible solutions, as well as support uh, to continue doing your best as public health nurses. We have more plans for building our community of practice of public health nurse leaders, and we want you to be part of it. At this point, um, let me thank our program sponsor, the Johnson & Johnson Foundation through its global community impact, who believed in our vision of public health nurse leaders leading the implementation of universal health care and achieving the health outcomes for Filipinos. Thank you also to the Department of Health through the Health Human Resources Development Bureau led by Dr. Prechel Tolentino and your respective local government units for supporting the role of public health nurses and for allowing you to grow in the profession within the public health system. We hope that we will continue supporting each other to address the need of nurses uh, in every barangay and to advance public health nursing in the Philippines. And uh, our to our invited resource persons for the course uh, who developed the, the, the learning materials with us and for sharing their expertise during our discussions uh, also, maraming salamat. Thank you for all your uh, help. And the module coordinators and the capstone project uh, coordinators, thank you also for ensuring that uh, the learning resources and the requirements are aligned with the course outcomes that, uh, and that our participants can maximize this, the learning activities from this. To our teaching learning assistants, the graduates of the previous batches, uh, also, thank you for sharing your talent time and your own learnings from the course. And to the course team, you have just um, uh, met them again, the entire team. So also for the commitment for, for improving continuously what we are offering for the past uh, months. And in the near future, we hope that as we close the online course, um, we will meet you again in person and this time for the Nurse Lead Summit. So last year, we also conducted this for the first three batches of the, of the program. So we hope that uh, we will continue to see each other and to also for you to uh, give us an update on your capstone project so that we hope that even after the online course, you will continue working on your capstone project so that you can share with us your own lessons on the projects that you have embarked on. So again, uh, to the, our nurse leaders, as we close the online course, we hope that we open a new chapter in your lives. There's much to do as nurse leaders, managers, and collaborators. More power to our public health nurse leaders. Back to you, Earl. Thank you so much, Dean, um, for making the advanced training possible for all of us. So at this point, let us listen to the message of the Chancellor of the University of the Philippines, Manila, Dr. Professor Carmencita David Padilla. UP College of Nursing Dean and Nurse Lead Coordinator, Dr. Sheila Bonito, faculty, staff, and students of the College of Nursing, graduates, guests, good afternoon. Congratulations to the nurses who have completed 148 hours of virtual sessions of the leadership course for advanced practice in public health nursing or nurse lead, and who joined the batches of nurse leaders from the past three years. 
now better prepared and trained to serve the people. Since its launch on September 10, 2019, this has become a formidable program of the UP College of Nursing and Johnson & Johnson Global Community in advanced nursing practice. Its focus on enriching the nurses' competencies and extending primary health care and other population-based health services is aligned well with our major health programs such as the universal health care and the sustainable development goals. Meanwhile, augmenting their skills in collaborating with relevant stakeholders and agencies in the management and delivery of primary health care services and programs complement well the guidelines for the management of the COVID-19 pandemic. It is not surprising if nurse graduates of this program deployed in different communities are now being recognized as having contributed to the continuing reduction in cases the past few months. We commend the College of Nursing for fulfilling this task of training our frontliners in higher dimension. This year alone, several courses and trainings conducted by the college in partnership with the Department of Health and other groups have advanced the frontiers of nursing in a wide range of leadership areas. Their graduates are now practicing in different strategic places nationwide and sharing and influencing others to do the same. Essentially, nurses who are the main players in the universal health care and SDG implementation are expected to bring a lot to the table in terms of advanced leadership abilities and training. Nurse Lead continues to prove to be a vital leader in this category. These unprecedented times call for no less than public health nurses, adept at professional development, advocacy, and interprofessional collaboration and communication and teamwork. Filipinos deserve excellent nurse leaders, and Nurse Lead is showing the way. Those who are able to manage effectively and efficiently public health interventions, provide integrated services along the continuum of care, and are well-versed with project management and cycles and financial management principles are considered game changers. When I welcomed you during the opening ceremony, I mentioned that you will come out of this training, not just carers, but nurse leaders educators and researchers now it is time for you to go out there and be health movers for a healthier philippines once again congratulations to all of you newly certified nurse leaders the filipinos are happy to be the beneficiaries of your commitment training and service mabuhay kayong mga bagong nurse lead graduates Nawa ay biyayaan kayo ng may kapal, ng sigla, talino at pugamahan. Tungo sa makabuluhan, mahusay at mapagkalingang serbisyo sa mga komunidad ng ating bansa. Magandang hapon po muli sa inyong lahat. Maraming salamat po, Chancellor Padilla, para sa inyo pong inspirasyon at suporta. At this point, friends, let us hear it from our partners um, supporting um, this leadership course and making it possible for all of us. Starting off from Johnson & Johnson Foundation all the way from Singapore, Southeast Asia lead, Wen Yi Tan. on completing the UPCN Good day, honored guests, nurses, and attendees. It is wonderful to see you here today. 
My name is Wenyi, and I'm a part of Johnson & Johnson's Global Community Impact Team here in Asia. First off, congratulations from Johnson & Johnson Foundation on completing the UPCN Nestle program. We are so excited to see the positive change you'll be making in the years to come. At j, j we have a long legacy of supporting and championing nurses and the critical role you play in elevating healthcare systems worldwide. Frontline health workers, especially nurses, midwives, and community health workers, are often the first and only link between communities and health systems. You are also part of your local community, sharing its culture, strengths, vulnerabilities, and you can shape and deliver effective interventions to meet the needs of patients, families, and communities. The World Health Organization recognizes how crucial nurses are in achieving universal health coverage. They also recognize that investing in nurses, as we are doing, but also as you are doing, by committing your time, is good value. There are four parts identified in the WHO Global Strategic Directions for Nursing and Midwifery, one of those being strengthening nursing and midwifery leadership throughout health and academic systems which is why we are so glad to ally with UPCN, with their recognized strengths in nursing education. Our collaboration aims to support effective leadership and management. Nurse leadership is critical in strengthening primary and community health systems at every level, and we are pleased to support you, future leaders, through this program. Together, we can build and strengthen our health workforce to provide high-quality care and ultimately help improve health and humanity. We wish you all the very best in your future endeavors, and thank you so much for all that you do. Thank you so much, Johnson & Johnson, for investing in our health workforce. Rest assured that this will be transformed to better health outcomes. Joining us live this afternoon is the officer in charge of the Department of Health Health Human Resource Development Bureau. Let us hear the message of Dr. Pretzel Tolentino. Hello, good afternoon to all our nurse leaders. You are all leaders now. And uh, sabi ko nga, babalik kayo sa mga areas ninyo na you are not the same. You are, you are our leaders. And... Um, I would like to know, Siguro, how many of you have transitioned from our leadership development course to the nurse lead? So this is a level up for you, no, sa ating mga leaders. And I can see yung ating mga nurses dito ay mga young pa, mga bata pa. And uh, alam naman natin ngayon no, na napakarami uh, ng mga nurses na iniiwan na yung ating bansa. <laughs> Uh, but uh, since you are our leader, sasabi ko nga ay pagka leader ka, hindi ka lang meron kang kompetensi ng isang leader at uh, magaling ka mag-manage. A leader should also inspire. So I hope that all of you as leaders would also inspire other nurses to, to really uh, stay and have um Stay and ano, uh, to continue to serve yung ating mga, mga areas. And lalo na po ngayon na mas, da, da, mas sumalaki po yung demand sa atin for leadership sa nursing profession, uh, lalo na when we, uh, well, now that we are implementing universal health care. So we hope that all of you will stay with us as we implement universal health care. Sama-sama pa rin po tayo. Uh, wherever you are, if kung kayo po ay nasa LGUs, nasa hospitals, I, we hope to partner with you uh, for UHC. And also, uh, I would like to share lang po, uh, can I share po slide lang po, picture lang po uh, Sir Francis pwede po bang mag-plugging kaunti? Yeah, go ahead po Doc, <laughs> I think yeah, try pa enable uh, na lang yung screening uh, so, so I would like to uh, inform all of you na aside from all the policies and then on UHC that we have given UPCN, meron po kaming bagong uh, nilabas na document. It's a manual for primary care managers na ito po ay nasa internet na. I can also give a copy, a PDF to you. Uh, so this is your reference. As, so hindi na lang po kayo nurses, kayo po ay managers. So this would be useful uh, for all of you. And also, uh, 
lahat po ng mga policies natin sa UHC ay sinamarize po namin dito po sa, sa book na ito that we call UHC in the Philippines from Policy to Practice. So you can download it. Ito po yung bit.ly link. You can download it. Uh, UPCN kung gusto niyo po magpapamigay ng printout, kayo na po magpaprint. <laughs> <laughs> Pero libre po ito, uh, soft copy, downloadable, libre po sa amin. Uh, pwede, nyo po mag, pwede po kayo magpa-print for your students. And also, para po, uh, ito po lahat po ng ating taga-UH ay pinapatake po namin. Lahat po ng implementers ng UHC, uh, I encourage everyone to take the online course on UHC Implementers course. This is a 12-module online, free, accessible at learn.uh.gov.ph. So we hope that you take this. So dahil kayo po ay mga leaders na po ngayon, ay kasama po kayo na sa leaders ng Universal Healthcare na partners na rin po namin. So thank you for UPCN and thank you po sa sponsor, Johnson & Johnson, for, for developing and for teaching all these nurse leaders. Maraming salamat po sa inyo. Mabuhay po, Dr. Retzel. No? Salamat po sa partnership na ito. Sana papiliin niyo po itaguyod no? ang ating mga public health nurses sa inyo pong bureau. So ngayon po, uh, pakinggan naman natin no? ang uh, mensahe okay, mula po sa National Association of Public Health Nurses uh, President and also the President of Health uh, Futures Foundation. Friends, let us welcome Dr. Cora de los Angeles Anonuevo. Magandang hapon to public health workers and colleagues. Binabati ko ang mga participants na nakakompleto ng uh, kursong uh, Nurse Lead. Hindi dito nagtatapos ang inyong engagement dahil iniimbitahan namin kayo na maging kasapi ng isang specialty nursing organization. Uh, ilan sa inyo miyembro na ng Philippine Nurses Association? Dahil as nurses, no? Uh, tayo ay may responsibilidad at ito ay to maintain loyalty to the development and growth of the nursing profession. And of course, mga nurses. Kung kaya binuo natin ang NAPHN, ang National Association of Public Health Nurses. And this was incorporated and registered with the Securities and Exchange Commission on December 1, uh, 2021. So, bata pa siya, no? At uh, kayo ang magiging foundation nitong organization na to. Uh, NAP was officially launched last April 7, 2022, uh, which was uh, held in, in a summit, no? Nurse-led summit, no? Face-to-face, no? Sa Clark, uh, Hilton Clark, Pampanga. Now, Bakit tayo dapat naging miyembro ng NAP? There are good reasons. No? Why we need a specialty organization for public health nurses? Foremost, we need to be united as a strong one group whose members are bound by the following objectives. First, raise the standards of public health nursing practice by providing continuing professional education, training, and related experiences. I think this is high time that we make known to the health sector and the public our valuable contribution to the healthcare delivery system. Hindi masyadong kasing kinikilala na ang public health nursing ay isang specialization. We're happy that you are enrolled in this course and the completed this course. This is an example of continuing professional education that will produce leaders in public health. Many of you, if not all, already have the skills to provide health services to individuals, families, and communities. It would be best if we enhanced, if you are, have the enhanced competencies to manage health units at different levels. Informatics, develop the uh, policies, design advocacy programs, self-regulation, and those topics you have acquired from this course. Now, the second objective or reason, lead the development of public health nursing career pathways. So, ano ba ibig sabihin nito? We must chart our career in public health as advanced practitioners. 
we need to have our sense of professional autonomy in public health while working collaboratively with others. I mean, the members of the health team. As a professional especially, uh, specialty, we need the NAPHN to finalize the advanced practice in public health nursing according to the career progression and specialization program to level seven or post baccalaureate nursing, which is the master's level or its equivalent. And higher than that, level eight or doctoral level. Certification must be an advanced uh, practitioner in any specialty, including public health nursing. So, pag meron kayo certification, it signifies that you have the specific competencies and expertise of a nurse in public health. So, the PRC and the Board of Nursing issue the certification upon endorsement of a recognized and credentialed specialty organization. So, kailangan meron isang organization talaga. At ito ay ang NAP the National Association of Public Health Nurses. And the third objective or reason is to establish networks and linkages with relevant national and even international health agencies leading to a dynamic community of practice. No? Na bakit na ito din kanina? The NAPHN can communicate and link up with public health organizations, no? uh, especially, no? Uh, with WHO upon its formal recognition by the PRC. Or collaborate with other organizations and unify all sub-specializations of public health nursing. So in the Philippines, we have public health nurses who are members of ONAP, Occupational Health Nurses, and uh, the National, uh, National League of Public uh, of the Philippine Government Nurses or NLPGN. Siguro members din kayo doon. They retain their membership in these organizations, but we will attempt to unify ourselves in terms of mission and goals and directions to enrich our practice in different fields or subsectors in public health. Fifth, strengthen the link between public health, nursing, education, practice, and research. You understand already you know what, what, what this means. And these three aspects must closely interact. And next, contribute to public health and policy decision making through evidence based research and projects relevant to implementing universal health care. Okay. Uh, and thanks to Nurse Lead, you know, the advanced course in competed in helping to achieve this objective. And last, to advocate the general welfare of public health nurses. Lalo na sa panahon na ngayon, no? kailangan, kailangan supportahan natin ang mga, ang mga nurses na lalo na nasa public health. We need not HN to provide leadership and provide voice and visibility for public health nurses who deserve to be given just compensation, benefits, and privileges, and of course, recognition. On behalf of the Board of Trustees, we invite you to become members of NAPHN, uh, NAP HN, the first and only organization of public health nurses in the Philippines. Right now, we have 104 founding members and 18 regular members, so a total of 122. And and counting more uh, members, no, including you. So please visit the end the, the the National Association of Public Health Nurses web uh, web page or FB page, no, uh, which is right now on the screen. I think, no, magbuhay kayo. At magandang hapon po. Ay, maraming salamat po, uh, Ma'am Cora. Yan. At uh, we're all looking forward to have again our nurse leaders uh, joining uh, the NAP HN. Now, before uh, we continue with the coverage, uh, we would like um, to acknowledge our esteemed resource persons for joining us live um, to honor the achievement of our public health nurse leaders who will be uh, completing 
okay um this afternoon so we would like to uh recognize um again um dr lin lorenzo uh, dr caster palaganas uh, we also have with us uh, ma'am maria rita tamse who's still with us this afternoon and of course uh um, again our um appreciation um to uh, everyone um our partners even um, dr pretzel for staying with us um in this occupation ceremony so friends okay um let us witness how many of you okay will be creating a meaningful impact to the areas you're serving the coverage of batch two Friends, colleagues, let us welcome the 55 graduates of the Advanced Training on Public Health Nursing. Batch 2, Year 2. From Luzon, Daxon, Alaska, Johan Carla Arcia, Pearl Arnett Reyes Axela. Yasmin Bato Balonos, Roda Queenie Bautista, April Joy Benitez, Rose Ann Diab, Michelle Bilugan, Ilona Borja, Jinky Arian Cahayon, Arian Calibara. Kimpi Jason Cruz, Clary Vincel Damasco, Genesis Dan de Guzman, Noemi de Jesus, Lizelle de Guillaume, Angelica del Mundo, Rochelle de los Santos, Maripel Garcia, Christina Pugiad, Kelly Kengai, Wierney Lomoxo, Eileen Manalastas, Christopher Manalo, Jill Mateo, Ashley Melesho. Darina Mendoza, Coyer Rose Pahit, Precious Ann Paselo, Romel Pagabao, Mar Aguilar Panilio, Pariachara Papa, Daril Pareja, Raymark Pereras, Emmanuel Kiambao, Ruth Ann Ramos, Gina Rional Reveresa, Jose Lorenzo Robil, Marinel Romero, Lorraine Tabin, Ronnie Tapia, Angelo Gabriel. Valdevilla, Jennifer Valenzuela, Mary Grace Villares, 
from the Visayas, Pamela Ann Abia, Alevi Aguilar, Pamela Gay Cabigunda, Rex Docto, Christian Joy Maglinao, Marit Flor Maypalang Reyes. From Mindanao, Benji Alarilla, Luis Bermudez, Gigi Lumoljo, Lourdes Tinoy. Our 55 graduates for Batch 2 of Nurse Lead Year 2. A virtual applause for all of them. So each will be receiving a certificate of completion, which reads University of the Philippines, Manila College of Nursing, a World Health Organization collaborating center for leadership in nursing development, presents this certificate of completion to our scholar for um, fulfilling the requirements of the nurse lead leadership course for advanced practice in public health nursing given this day of October 2022. Signed, Assistant Professor Josephine Cariaso and signed by the Dean of the College of Nursing, Dr. Sheila Bonito. So again, congratulations to all our graduates for completing this training course. At this point, we would like to call on the virtual floor, the coordinator um, for this project and assistant professor at the College of Nursing, Josephine Cariaso, to recognize our partners. Ma'am Jo. Good afternoon, everyone. And once again, we would like to, to uh, say thank you to Johnson & Johnson Foundation, the global, commu uh, global community impact for assisting us and having the having faith in in us and uh, sharing and holding hands with us in training our uh, public health nurses together with Johnson and Johnson Foundation uh, we have So we have the Department of Health. The Department of Health, Health Human Resource Development Bureau. So uh, we have Dr. Pretchell here with us. Again, thank you very much for trusting us and for, for trusting your public health nurses to us. So thank you, Ma'am Jo. And again, um, our appreciation to our partners. So at this point, let us hear it from our graduates from this batch for their messages. Starting off, representing um, the Luzon um, group, we call on Jose Lorenzo Robil. Good day, everyone. I'm Jose Lorenzo Emerbil from Candelaria, Quezon, a community health nurse for 10 years and part of um, DOH, HRH, NDP program, and also part of Nurse Lead Year 2, Batch 2, Remote Area or Remote Island. Well, ang masasabi ko sa Nurse Lead ay sobrang napapanahon na short course para sa mga nurse na nasa public health. Kasi Nurse Lead really opened a lot of opportunities, especially sa ating mga young leaders na mga nurses. In a sense na binuksan niya yung mga natutulog na leadership skills ng mga nurses sa public health. At napakagandang instrumento nito na mailabas o maipakita ng mga nurses ang kanilang kakayahan na mamuno at pamunuan ng aspeto ng kalusugan sa isang komunidad na kanilang nasasakupan. When it comes to learnings, ang daming na-impart sa akin ng nurse lead. 
most specially our resource person in every module na talagang mga bigatin at kilala sa mga field nila. Ang learning na di ko malilimutan ay yung kung papaano makipag-usap sa yung senior nurse at maibigay yung opinion nating mga um, public health nurses o mga young public health nurses na hindi sila ma-offend o hindi mo masasagasaan ng kanilang professional years of experience. Actually, akala ko that time, module 1 that time, module 1 yon ay pinapagalitan na nila ako. Kasi most of our resource speaker ay talagang namang matatagal na din sa service. But I take it in a positive way na na-realize ko na tama yung mga sinabi nila. As in, lahat ng yon ay talagang bumaon sa akin. At sobra ko na-appreciate bilang baguhang public health nurse. Nurse lead has a big impact to my current role as a community health nurse or public health nurse. Kasi it opens to a much bigger responsibility kasi alam mo yung process and you have the edge and knowledge on managing or leading a team or organization. But again, sabi nga nila, the word respect, again respect, ay hindi mawawala. I'm very thankful to the whole team, especially to to all the resource speaker um, and to all the TAs na naghandled sa amin kay Sir Harold, Mom Carla, Sir Andre sa mga pag-follow up sa amin lalo na kapag hindi agad nakakapagsagot or nakakapagpasa ng module activities at sa pag-reply sa aming mga module activities na alam kong um, nakaka-relate din po sila lalo na si Sir Harold <laughs> And sa UP College of Nursing and sa Johnson and Johnson na walang sawang sumusuporta at nagtataas sa mga moral or sa moral ng mga public health nurses sa Pilipinas. Again, maraming maraming salamat po. Salamat din. Ngayon, let's hear it from the Visayas Group. May we call on Rex. Doctor. On behalf of the scholars from the Visayas, good day, Mayong Adlao. My name is Rex Doctor. I'm a nurse too from the CPDOH office of Bacolod City. The year 2020, the world stood still. It was a year that the spread of COVID-19 disease was like a wildfire. The pandemic claimed countless lives created dramatic increase in joblessness, poverty, and hunger. Activities of daily living disrupted, commuting to our workplaces, attending our classes and meetings, and the various interactions with people, even in our homes and in our community, was restricted. While governments of the world are grappling for solutions to control death tolls and severe hospitalizations, managing this pandemic response are interested to our public health leaders, our nurses, always being at the forefront. As a former disease detective or disease surveillance officer and one of those who are part of the initial group of DOH frontliners for COVID-19 response in my whole province, I felt that there is a need for me to be capacitated because of the role entrusted to me. I saw in Facebook this ad about the first nurse lead. It was a wish then that someday I'll be qualified for the program. Fast forward 2022, I am thankful that I was given the opportunity to be part of the program. For me, Nurse Lead program is like a weapon to our nurse leader during this ongoing pandemic. It is a game changer in leadership development for public health nurses. And through this course, competencies of public health nurses are greatly enhanced and geared towards creating and providing innovative solutions in today's complex public health problems. While public health problems may be unique from one community to another, Learning and experiences from the nursing program is an essential tool for public health nurses. I strongly suggest that this course should be a must for every nurse leaders. Personally, while immersed in the program, it has equipped me with the most relevant skills and knowledge in order to be an effective primary care worker. I must say that the competencies now, my competencies now are more responsive to the needs of my community project management, strategic leadership, and concept of systems thinking. 
to name a few are what I consider most valuable learnings that I have obtained from this course. In my current role and in the years to come, God willing, um, I will still be holding a leadership roles. I will still hold leadership roles as a nurse. I will bring with me my nurse lead experience, being thankful and confident to face the ever-changing and the very challenging world of public health. And um, I'm pretty sure that my nurse, my nurse lead experience will surely help shape my career as a public health worker. To Johnson & Johnson Philippines, the University of the Philippines Manila, College of Nursing, the Nurse Lead Program Coordinator, Ma'am Josephine Cariaso, allow me to say thank you very much for the chance and privilege for me to be part of this amazing course. To our well-respected and brilliant course facilitators and speakers, we are truly thankful that you have imparted to us valuable knowledge and expertise in your respective domains. I'd like also to take this opportunity to thank our very dynamic and patient teaching assistants. Thank you very much for your support and tireless efforts in making sure that we will succeed in finishing this course. Thank you for joining with us in this journey. Without you, um, we won't be able to survive this uh, course. Also, Madam Manya Salamat and thank you to all my fellow year two batch two scholars from all over the country for sharing your insights and experiences to the rest of the batch. Lastly, to my colleagues in the CTDOH Office of Bacolod, who are previous nurse lead scholars, namely Cyrus, Karen, and Joel, and to our development management officers, Ma'am Nikki and Ma'am Prisa, headed by our development management officer for Ma'am Christine Solas, for the consideration and full support. Thank you very much and Madam Mugling Salamat. Thank you so much, Rex. This time, let us hear it from Wierney Lumoxo. A pleasant day to all. I am Wierney Lumoxo, Population Program Officer of Quezon City Health Department. I have been working in the department for 13 years. It has been a great privilege to be a part of Nurse Lead Year 2, Batch 2. The course, Advanced in Public Health Nursing, is very helpful to me as a public health nurse leader, especially during these pandemic times. Through this course, I was able to be more confident and guided to what and how I should do and become to be able to influence and motivate others to contribute towards the effectiveness and success of the community and to inspire people to achieve a goal. During our synchronous session, it also became an eye-opener for me because I have heard also the situation of other RHUs, which is also similar to ours. To be honest, I see our health system in a different way now because I am equipped with a lot of knowledge that I learned during the six-week program starting on how I examine the challenges and solutions in the implementation of health programs and policies through systems thinking, and how to improve more on my communication and negotiation skills with collaborative partners in the community, and how I appreciate policies and the importance of it and how it is present but not really implemented and utilizing also the 10 essential public health services as framework to guide the management and delivery of public health nursing services. And also how I will engage more and learn more about universal healthcare law. Being in the most populous city in the Philippines, Quezon City, with all these learnings, it will help me a lot in my current role as a supervisor in District 3 in QC, in the nine health centers and one lying in clinic. With that, I would like to thank Johnson & Johnson and of course the University of the Philippines College of Nursing for making this all possible. 
Thank you to all the course facilitators and resource persons who share their wisdom to us during a synchronous and synchronous session from module one to three. And also thank you to all our teaching assistants for always guiding us and reminding us to finish our activities and our capstone projects. Again, thank you and I look forward to our summit next year. Thank you so much, Bernie. Yes, um, we all look forward to seeing you um, in our summit. And um, our summit, okay, is scheduled March 2023. Please save the date. We have three days, okay, of um, um, activities um, meant not just for drawing inspiration from one another, but at the same time uh, to share our experiences and affirm each other. So let's watch this quick, okay, uh, video about the summit. Yes, see you all at Clark Pampanga on March 28th, 30, 2023 for our second Nurse Lead Summit. So our third and uh, fourth batch for Nurse Lead um, is scheduled October 21 to December 2. So we are still um, open for applications. If you have friends within your social circle, okay, please um, invite them okay, to send their application. For batch four, we have it January 13 okay, to February 14, okay, 2023. So we all look forward um, again to increasing okay, um, the number of people part of our community of practice okay, to impact okay, our health system and improve health outcomes. So to, before we um, end, um, again, um, our closing ceremony, may we again um, request everyone yeah, to open their cameras in preparation for our photo op, okay, um, in a while. Now, at the same time, we'd like to ask um, everybody to answer the evaluation for our course. The link is shown on your screen. It's also on our VLE. So when you log into our course site, please scroll down at the bottom and you'll have okay, the evaluation for the course. So again, our uh, congratulations no, to all of you okay, for completing the advanced training on public health nursing. So at this point, we would like to call on the virtual floor, the module coordinator for nurse lead and the associate professor of the College of Nursing of the University of the Philippines, Manila, Luz Barbara Pambidones. Mom Luz, for her closing remarks. Hello, good afternoon. Okay, um, Dr. Carmencita Padilla, Chancellor of UP Manila Health Sciences Center, Dr. Sheila Bonito, the indefatigable dean of UP College of Nursing and project director of Nurse Lead, Dr. Prechel Talentino, representing the DOH, Mr. Manish Andani, president and managing director of our partner Johnson & Johnson, Ms. Wen Yi Tan of j, j Global Community Impact, NAFNI president Cora Anyonuevo, our Nurse Lead resource persons, facilitators, and teaching assistants of the Nurse Lead project, UP College of Nursing faculty and the VIPs of this occasion, the 55 public health nurses from all over the country today, a pleasant good afternoon. In our lives, there are always 
beginnings and endings. New beginnings provide opportunities to create change, to improve status quo, or recreate or replicate successful experiences. Endings do not necessarily mean death or conclusion of something, being finished or done with, but endings are promises of hope and rebirth. Dean Betty and Mam Rita pointed out in their sharing this morning that beginnings and endings are milestones. Your participation in the Nurse Lead Leadership Course for Advanced Practice in Public Health Nursing Year 2 is both a beginning and ending for each of you. It is a milestone and it deserves congratulations. You are reborn with new skills and competencies in leadership, management, and collaboration. And you are now ready to change your work environment to better serve the people. As we celebrate the public health nurses' completion of their course amidst many challenges, we also wish to acknowledge the support that the UP College of Nursing received in order to launch this course. The local government units, which allowed official time for our public health nurses to participate in this course. We hope that the capstone projects that your nurses made will see fruition as they are considered their best contribution to making the UHC work in your locality. We also thank our precious partners, the Department of Health through Dr. Pretzel's office, for J&J &J for the funding support that made possible for UP Manila to translate honor and excellence in our public service and to help build an excellent yet relevant and responsive healthcare delivery system for all. To end this program, allow me to quote uh, Florel, who wrote about nursing activism. She said that if the primary responsibility of nursing is commitment to the patient, whether an individual, family, group, community, or population, nurses must include activism as an intervention to address health inequities. This type of activism moves nursing from a more passive but supportive role to one of taking action to influence change. Friends, Nurse Lead is all about this type of activism. Thank you very much and padayon gihap. Thank you so much, Ma'am Luz. And um, again, our congratulations to our 55, okay, uh, new members of the growing community of Nurse Lead. So we would like to invite all of you to open your cameras for a photo opportunity. Yeah, so wear your best smiles. And don't forget um, to post and share okay, um, this group photo on our social media. And don't forget um, again to use our hashtag, Nurse Lead. Okay, uh, year two, batch two. Ryan? Okay po, uh, I have here three panels, so kindly smile po, okay? I'll start taking the photo, one, two, three. Okay, next panel po, one, two, three. Last panel, one, two, three. And congratulations. Thank you, sir. Right. Thank you, everyone. Have a fruitful weekend. Congratulations once again. Thank you po. Thank you po. Thank you. Pearl, uulan na. Nasa Manila ka ba?